trying to convince is bringing <coughs> conflict. Is bring is bringing a big difference. It's bringing a gap in between the two persons. Do we need to live into division? We always see the outcome of divisions. We think that when we're facing someone else and trying to convince, if we succeed, we're going to win, I don't know what, this idea of winning. But we are bringing division. Now the, the movement of division is not going to stop. It's going to spread. Many years ago I, I had the opportunity of meeting different countries, people who called themselves politicians. And after quite many meetings with them, I realized that because they wanted to have followers, they were forced to bring division. Right from the beginning. Because everyone is ready to have followers but there is one condition, that person has to be the first. And that is bringing division, always. If you put aside the personal situation, this is, let's say, a, a psychological human pattern. It has nothing to do with individuals. Everyone is completely enslaved into that pattern. How are we going to get out of it? If we hope that somebody will do the job, this is the whole belief. It doesn't work. It has never worked. That somebody will do the job, somebody will take care of me, somebody will manage for, I don't know, my health, my security, my love, my job, my money, all of it. It, it, it has never solved, never. Because the one who says, or one, it's not even a question of saying, wants to be a leader has no other choice than breaking division. It doesn't have anything to do with the person. It's a psychological process. So if, you have, if anyone wants to be the leader or the master or the chief or whatever, the moment you, there is this wanting of becoming the first or the best, it is like in any kind of sport. For being the winner, you need thousands of losers. And psychologically, it doesn't change much because on the top of it, the person who thinks he is the, is the winner, the moment is sacred winner, is going to be afraid of losing that position. So you have thousands of losers and one who is afraid. It's a terrible result. It doesn't bring any kind of quietness, any kind of silence, any kind of love, any kind of intelligence. Now, once again, is there a source of intelligence? Is there a source of love? 
Is there a source of peace? Which is what we have been clinging for centuries. If we say that the source is here and there, some people have said it's in India, or I don't know, I was in Hungary some weeks ago, and people say, well, there is a place which is the center of the world, and uh, in every country, maybe you have one center of the world also in Romania? You have one? More. Oh, you have more? Yeah. So, so, now, Instead of looking for a place which is a center, can we be centered? Now, centering does not mean a place in space. And same thing, it doesn't mean a spot in time. As we say, as you say, freedom is now. Now has nothing to do with time. I'm talking psychologically. There might be, it is not really sure, there might be a physical time. It's a question. We're not sure, we are not sure that there is a physical time. But we're, th we, we're talking here psychologically. You know, if you, if you try to sense yourself, if you try to feel yourself, what is your age? Age has been given by somebody else. Did you ever try to, you may close your eyes or keep your eyes open, it doesn't matter, but to, to feel, not to repeat what others are saying, but did you ever try to feel what is your age? Did you find an answer? That's terrible. <laughs> what is it? Well, I think we have... No, not thinking. Do you feel? I feel that we have three. One three is, ages? Yes. Gosh. What is the chronological age? No, 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 no. This has ideas. I'm, I'm talking. What do you feel? Do you feel you have any age? But when we say the chronicle, chron. <laughs> This has to do with time, time has to do with thinking, time has to do with thinking has to do with becoming. Put this aside now. What do you feel? Or we could say, do you feel there is an age? Or do you <coughs> or do you refer to an idea? To reference? Same question is, some of us, sometimes we feel lost, psychologically lost. Did you ever put your, the question deeply within, where am I? Not referring to the environment. What is my age and where am I? And the third question we could put is, who am I? What is this highness? So of course if you listen to the other people, uh, you know, your parents or I don't know who, gave you a name. But it is what they give you, it has nothing to do with you. And then they told you, you have such and such an age. And then they told you, you are living here, this is your address. Now, if you don't live here, 
to anyone. Because if you reveal to any to anyone, this is the conditioning. There's no freedom into this. Now if you do the job only by yourself, that is putting aside every ideas, every concepts, every conditioning. And it's possible. It is possible to do. Many people say this is too much, you know, this is not. Just do it. Put it aside. There's no danger. And put your <clears throat> put this question. Who is this highness? What is the age of this highness? What is the address of this highness? If you do that while doing it, a quality shows up. I'm not saying that you have to find an answer. I'm saying that if you question, a quality shows up, an energy, a, a, a very powerful energy shows up. This energy is what I call meditation. It mainly has to do with getting rid of and not with accumulating. Because accumulating is the old story of conditioning. Accumulating requires time. Accumulating means after some time, after some time, you totally fed up with all the things you have accumulated. We do it materialistically with objects, but I'm not talking on this level. I'm talking about psychologically. We are accumulating, thinking that what we accumulate will be helpful tomorrow. But the only real big change for tomorrow is dying. It's the only really big change. All the rest is already known psychologically. But you understand? Psychologically, nothing new will happen. Because the story is so old and we are repeating and repeating and repeating and repeating. So we'll have the same results, same results, same results, same results. Only one thing which might be new is when you die. Now, some funny people have invented that when we die, we are free. The question is, Are we interested in waiting? Or is it the urge for now? Heaven is very crowded. This is not set. today there are about seven billions of human beings. So can you imagine all the ones who died, who, died, who died before? And it is not the question. And uh, we don't, the question is not tomorrow. So now we can, can we go on with this or is it too much for you? Do, do you? Do you, I'm not asking you if you follow, I'm asking you, are you into this? Not following, this is, following is stupid. It's always bring walls at the end. Just watching, listening, 
to what is going on in one's life. Now, this quality of energy Should we use it to put a radical stop to the habit of division, fragmentation, conflict, suffering? And we need a, a huge energy for putting a stop to this. For the habit is very, very strong. How do you feel? Do you feel this is a possibility to, to put a hand to this mess? Once again, remember the, the mess is what we are, is not what is going on. What is going on is what we are. This process of facing what is, what is, in Sanskrit they have a word, they call it dhyan, and uh, in English the translation is meditation. But most of the time we understand meditation as something to do, mainly repetition. You know, you repeat a formula a mantra, or you repeat uh, whatever, <coughs> repetition, which is the conditioning process. Inquiring, exploring, without stopping. 